Interesting morning. Obviously, I'm with Chuck. He's the master caller, but we got out of the truck. We heard some birds over here. Um, I'll put in some Google Maps pictures so you guys can see. But we're sitting. We we get through the, get to this corner of this field, and we hear birds across the power lines. It's like okay, we always hear birds over there during the turkey season. So we get over here. And it kind of the field, it, the, the woods drop down in this valley and then come back up on the slope and then drop back down. And I was like, well, I think that closest bird is where it drops down, goes back up and then drops back down. I think he's in the valley. So we tried, we were trying to slip over here and get up on the upslope, hoping we could get him to walk uphill, get right on the crest of the slope and be able to kill him. And as soon as we started to go down into the first valley, he busted out of the roost. I don't think I'm not sure if it was the one we heard goblin or not, but just busted him out. And about 150, 200 yards that way, we hear a bunch of birch goblin, and we think, okay, we can call them to us. They're not too far. And so we're, I don't know, we sat here for probably 45 minutes or so, and we hear something walking right here in front of us, and we're because those birds went silent as soon, as soon as they hit the ground. So we're like, okay, that the bird come, came in silent and he's coming up this hill. So we both get ready, we get the gun up. We're like, as soon as he crests that hill and we see a beard, we're gonna take him out. We look up and there's a freaking guy. don't know who the guy is. Obviously this piece that we're sitting on isn't the part that we own, but we have permission to hunt all this wood, so I have no idea who that guy is. We're sitting here and he walks up 20 yards and starts calling. He heard our yelping. If he didn't, the dude's deaf. So we're sitting here. He stands right here 20 yards and calls for two minutes. Doesn't see us, then starts walking around. Walking back behind us, back towards the power lines behind us. So we're sitting here and I'm texting my dad, who's way over on our property. And I'm like, well, there's a guy here. I don't know who he is. Should I say something? And then I look, I hear a stick crack, and I look up in freaking 30 yards. There's turkeys walking right towards us. Well, like I said, Chuck's the master caller. So I see one about 30 yards, one right next to it, and then there's another one 20 yards behind it strutting. I'm like, I'm like, holy crap, this is like going to work out. Well, they see me because when I looked up, obviously they see something. My gun's on my down here, so I got to get my gun up and swing on them. Um, and I see that the first two I saw were Jake's. They had real short beards. And then the one strut, I'm like, that's probably, it might be a Tom. But they end up working. You guys saw the footage. They end up working back behind us, kind of towards where he walked. And um, they end up, there end up being like four Jake's. So I don't know who that guy is. I don't know if we're going to see him again. I thought he screwed up our hunt, but he might have called those birds in with the help of Chuck. Or Chuck might have called those birds in with the help of him. So, I don't know what we're going to do now, but we may just sit tight for a little bit or go see if we can't strike up another bird. But 
Indiana turkey season is hard enough as it is. And then you got somebody like that walking around. It's like, what the heck? And you finally get birds 30 yards and they're all jakes. So obviously I'm not going to shoot a jake, but that's tender meat. It is tender meat. Like you. Chuck said, it's tender meat. So we're going to sit here. We're, figure, we're going to devise a plan to do something. Hopefully maybe use that guy. Did one just gobble? One just gobbled over here, but we're gonna, hopefully we can use that guy to our advantage to push turkeys to, to, push turkeys to us and maybe he'll bust them up and kind of call them in. So I don't know where he went. I don't know what he's gonna do. I don't know why he's 40 minutes after daylight, he's walking around. I don't know what the heck he's doing, but I don't know, what do I know, so. Look at this scratching. Say, look at this scratching. Scratching. scratching bunch of it all this turkey scratching all right guys so we're sitting back there watching that guy walk by again and I called right after he left and Chuck heard a distant gobble over here, so we're gonna see if we can't make a move on him. It's not like a way that way. Yeah, dude, there's those groups of birds this morning going this way. Well, we come to this base of this tree right here, and right before I sat down. Voila, we found a morel. Not only one, 